What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a WordPress blog. So as you can see here, this is the blog we will be setting up. So if we go to the home page, we see we get the recent posts and they are all listed here. On the side, we have a sidebar, which has the recent posts. It has some archives and a search bar. We also have an about page which has a simple image on the left, a paragraph on the right, and some social icons here, and then a little gallery down here. Also, you can click on the individual blog post and you are brought to that specific post. We have the main image, the title, some of the meta stuff here, and then we have the main content. At the bottom, we have some posts that you might also like. So these are some other blog posts that I made and you can also leave a reply. So if you wanna learn how to set up a blog like this quickly, stick around for the rest of the video. So the theme that we're gonna be using today is Ocean WordPress. You can come to this website here, oceanwp.org. And from the homepage, you can click on the free download button and you're going to fill in your name and your email. And then when you click get now, the theme will be downloaded via a zip file to your email. You can then go and extract that and download it to your computer. So in this video, I'm going to be using SiteGround as my hosting. If you do not have hosting already, feel free to click the link in the description to get SiteGround hosting for a year for as cheap as $4 a month. So I'm here in my admin panel. This is a newly installed version of WordPress. If I go to and visit the site, you can see this is a fresh installation. So let's go back to the admin panel. And from the left nav bar over here, I'm gonna select appearance and themes. So on this page, you can select add new and you can select upload theme. And what you're going to do is simply drag the theme that we downloaded into this choose file. And when you click install now, this theme will be downloaded. That will take a couple of seconds. And when it's finished, we will be brought to this page here. Unpackaging the package, installing the theme, and install successfully. So from here, we can click activate to activate this theme. And now, as you can see, we have our active theme, Ocean WordPress. So what we're gonna do is click visit site so we can see the changes. So the first thing that we're going to do is change some of the general settings for our theme. So first, just go back here to my WordPress and back in the admin panel, we can go down here to appearance and customize. And here on the left, you're gonna see a bunch of different things that you can customize about this theme. So first we want to go to site identity. And here we can change the site title. I'm going to name mine Ben's blog. And you can add a tagline also. I'm just going to remove that. And you can also select a site icon, which will be displayed in the upper left-hand corner of the tab in Google Chrome. So I'll publish this. And as you can see, the title is now here as well. And as you can see, there are also a bunch of other options that you can play around with in here. So I recommend that you go through all of these and kind of ex explore a little bit and figure out what they do and change it to your liking. So I'm just going to keep them all with the default for now. So we're gonna come out of here now. And the next thing that I want to do is create some pages. So we're gonna to go to pages and let's view all the pages that we have right now. As you can see, we have private policy and sample page. Let's get rid of both of those. Move to trash and apply. Next, let's add a new page. So this is the block editor. You can go through this if you want but I'm gonna skip that. 
and I'm going to add an about page and I will publish that. Now if we view the page you'll see we have the URL slash about and we have our heading and an empty page. Okay, now let's go back and if I go back in pages, I'm not going to create a home page. And the reason for that is because our home page is already created because it will display the recent posts. So if I go back here, so we're just on the uh, root or the index of our URL and it says recent posts. So when we add a blog post, it, they will automatically be added here. Now, if you wanted to have a static home page, you could create a page home just like we did for about. So if you want to learn how to do that, click on the link above to be brought to my last video where I installed a different WordPress theme. And you can see how I do that. But anyways, let's go back here and we'll work on styling the about page in a little bit. What I want to do now is I want to add some blog posts. So we can go to posts and here is where you're going to add all of your blog posts. So for developing purposes, I'm going to add a couple dummy posts just so we can get some content out here. Okay, so this is the content for my first post. I have a title and then just some dummy text here. And in the right here is where you can change a bunch of stuff about the post. So up here, you can see the status and visibility of it. So we're going to not change anything there. In categories, this is where you can add various categories. So what I'm going to do is add a new category. And we'll call this uh, tutorial. This is just an arbitrary category. But I want to show you how to add them. And there you go. When we hit add, add new category, it, is, it goes up here and it's checked. Next, we can add tags. So maybe we want a tag of first post, and then they're separated by commas. Amazing post, just like that. So we added two tags. Next, we have the featured image. So this is the image that will show at the top of the post and from the recent post screen. So for that, I'm going to simply go to unsplash.com, and I can get free high quality images from here. So I'm going to search blog featured image. And just like that, we're brought to a bunch of different images. And we can even go up here and select a landscape orientation. And you can select any of these pictures. I'm going to download this one. We'll come back here and we'll hit set featured image. And you can just drag and drop that image right there to our media library. Now after this loads, you can add an alt text or a title, caption, all this stuff. I'm not going to do that just because they're dummy posts, but if this is a post you plan on using, I would suggest filling these out. I'll set that featured image, and there we go. Next we have the post excerpt, so you can add just a sentence or two about of what the post is about and then the discussion. So we want comments and pingbacks and tracebacks. So after we have that, we can hit publish to publish that post. Now if we view that post, this is what it looks like. Perfect. So I'm going to do that for two or three more posts. Okay, so now I have three different blog posts. And if we go back and view our site from the home page, you'll notice that we can see all of those posts here in the left column. And we also see recent posts here as well in our sidebar. So next what I want to do is first clean up this sidebar a little bit and then add a navigation bar at the top. And we can also center this uh, title, 
a little bit better and kind of clean it up a little bit. So let's go back to our admin dashboard and we'll go to appearance and we can go to customize. And from here, you'll notice this is the sidebar right here and we can simply edit right from here. So what I want to do is remove this recent comment. So I'll click this and it's brought, it brings me to the widgets default sidebar. So I'm going to actually remove that. Now it's gone. And maybe we want to add a new widget and you can see it gives us a bunch of different things that we can add. So let's add the categories. Perfect. And you can play around with this. So maybe display as drop down, just like that. Or we can show the post counts, like so. So I think I'm going to show the post counts just like that. And the recent posts are fine. And the search bar is fine. So after we make that change, let's publish that. So the next thing that I want to do is add a menu. So I'm going to close out of this, make sure to publish any changes or before you lose them. And then I'm going to go to appearance menus. And from here we can make our first menu. So up here for menu name, I'm just going to simply say main and I will create that. We want that to be the main menu. So we'll click that there and we're going to add the about page to it, but we also want the home page. So as you can see, that home page is not showing up. So we can go down here to custom links and we can add a home page for the text and the URL will simply be slash and that will bring us back to the index of our site. We'll add that to the menu, reorder it. So we have home above about and save that. Now, when we view our site, there we go, we have a menu. So we have the home page, about, and the search. Now the home brings you back to the index, and about brings you to about. So this is looking really good. We have our header and navbar. We have the recent posts for the home page. We have the sidebar. We have the post detail view. So the last thing that I want to do is work on this about page. So on the about page, we can go up here and select edit page. And if you take a look at the page that we're trying to make, we're trying to make it look something like this. So we need an image over here, some text here, a little paragraph, some text, another heading, and then social buttons. So we can do that by clicking add and we can go down here to layout elements and select column. Now you can select any of these that you want. So I'm going to select this one, which is two equal columns. And now I can put different things in each column. So on the left, we had an image. So we can do that and find image down here and let's upload this from the media library and let's go find an image. So I'm going to look up portrait and let me try to find the one I had before. Okay, perfect right here. So we'll download this and simply drag and drop that right there. So when that finishes loading, we can hit select. And there we go. Next, we need a heading, which is about me. And we have a paragraph, which is some arbitrary text, just like that. And then we have the connect with me and the social buttons. So we can add another heading. Let's make sure to get that in the column. Let's see, heading connect with me. Move that down one. Perfect. And then we want social buttons. So we can actually search for those right here, social icons. 
Right now, we need to now add a link for each of them. So I'm just going to add a slash just like that. We'll move this down. Let's see if I could grab that. Okay, there we go. So now it is in the right order. So now if we preview that, perfect. So that's looking pretty good. And the last thing is just more of my work and then this gallery here. So back here, we can do another block. We can put a heading, more of my work. Perfect, delete that. And then down here, we want a gallery. And here we can add a bunch of different photos. So for simplicity, I'm going to choose the three we already have. We'll do that. And I can actually add captions to each of them as well. So let me just put home, uh, work, and lifestyle maybe. Perfect. We'll insert that. And now let's update this page. And let's view that page. Okay, there we go. This is looking really, really good. Okay, so that is it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video and that you were able to successfully get your WordPress Ocean WP theme blog up and running fairly quickly. Again, the next steps to do from here are to go into your admin panel go to Appearance, Customize, and I would just recommend playing around with all of the things on the side here. Maybe create some more widgets, play around with the homepage settings, some of the general options, maybe the top bar, play around with that. Uh, you can change the footer, you know, and just customize it and just make it your own. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this.